Ryan D at ZZP here today, guys. Today we're gonna to talk about having a supercharger setup versus having a turbocharger setup. All right, guys, for force induction, there's usually one of two ways you can go. You can either supercharge your car or turbocharge your car. Obviously the Grand Prix, Regal GS's, Monte Carlo SS's, 300 supercharged platform, obviously, just like the name says, they came supercharged. So this uses a positive displacement blower that sits right on the top of the engine. They use a belt to compress air and put boost in, into the engine. Supercharging in general is usually, in most cases, a little bit cheaper than putting a different type of force induction on your vehicle. What's easy about the blower is that you can just get more boost by changing a pulley setup. However, one of the drawbacks of it is that you have to do more mods around it. So remember, in general, boost is a measure of restriction. With a blower setup, which is slang for a super, you know, supercharger, in general, you know, boost is um, going to be kind of more... More isn't better in the case. For instance, the M90 blowers. The M90 blower has a efficiency range with and without an intercooler. Without an intercooler, you want to be between six, maybe nine pounds, no more. Putting a smaller pull in your car just to make yourself go up to 13, 14, 15 pounds, you're just blowing hot air and you're over the efficiency range of the blower. So it's better to actually drop pulley sizes to get back to that efficiency range so you're putting good chargeable air into your engine and making more power. Versus other ones where you just turn the boost and it's better. Blower, not so much. You have to stay within the efficiency range of the blower. You know, there are a lot of mods you can do to it. You can put an intercooler plate underneath it. You, you have a front mount heat exchanger for your air, for your air to water setups, and then you can change pulley size on them. They're, and they're pretty serviceable in general. You know, sometimes finding things like cases and bearings may be a little more difficult, but we have many of those on our website. You have your snout bearings, you have your needle bearings, you know, but rotor packs and things like that, a little harder to find. So not too bad for servicing, but you know, finding parts, especially later on, is a little more difficult. Now, ease of, ease of getting them in an overall setup, it's gonna be a lot more simple than doing a, a turbo setup. So if you're, on a, if you're on a tighter budget, you can do this, like things like our L36 supercharger kit, and that'll actually help you get yourself into the door and get boosted and to get a lot of power. You know, pretty much for this platform, making power boosted is always gonna be more reliable and a better way of making more power than saying naturally aspirated. And for you GTP guys, it's easy because you have a blower uh, on the power rate. You can drop pulley sizes, do your downpipes, you know, do your thermostat, PCM tunes, and just make the set more efficient so the boost drops. Then you put a smaller pulley on there and the boost will shoot back up again. So make sure you're always within that range. When you get an intercooler, you can actually run usually in the 10 to 11 pound range. You know, maybe a little bit higher, but not much more because as you have an intercooler now, the blower and the whole setup is more efficient. So that's just a quick introduction on like the pros of a supercharger and a few of the cons as well. Now for a turbo setup. A turbo setup, the main con of it is the price of it. There are more parts. You have to have your, or your oil feed line, your oil drain line. You have a different downpipe. You actually have two parts of a downpipe that you have to get. You have to get your crossover with your flange. You got to get a waste gate. You got to get your blow off out, your air to air intercooler, sometimes air to water, depending on what your setups are and you know, things like that. So usually the price of doing a turbo kit is usually one and a half times to double the amount of a blower setup. However, the gains also show this. Turbochargers in modern day in the modern day uh, performance world are just more efficient than blowers. You can get a pretty big blower to make a good amount of power, you know. But I remember, a blower also takes power to make power. Versus a turbo, it's just efficient. Use exhaust gas, you know, and especially on the 3800, which is a pretty good displacement size engine, it's not going to have that much of a turbo lag behind it. A lot of the guys get into these cars. You know, kind of the old mindset, well, oh, turbos are really laggy or, you know, turbos aren't efficient and I want instant power. It's not true like that anymore, guys. Most turbo setups will make more average power and come in a boost just as quick as an SC setup. So it's all about selecting the proper size turbo. You don't need the biggest one you can possibly get, especially with current tur turbo technology. But instead, you can actually just get a proper size one and make good power with it. Overall, making your, you're going to make your most power with a turbo setup. So overall, if you're shooting for the most power you can possibly get, a turbo setup, while costing more, will usually net you more power over the blower setups. For a good way to make power on kind of more of a budget, a supercharger setup is still, can still make a lot of power. It's just going to take more mods to get up there where a turbo setup can just bolt that on, toss some E85 at it, and make a bunch of power. Um, so there are both valuable and good ways to make power on, on the 3800. 
and they both, you know, you still do the same thing. You still have a specific cam set of form. Your valve train is going to be the same. Um, you know, upgrades to your transmission, upgrades to your exhaust. It's just one of those things you kind of really want to decide kind of your overall goals. If you're shooting for 400 plus, as easy as possible, turbo setup. Usually, you know, if you're shooting for, you know, anything under, let's say, 380 or so, you can do it with a supercharged setup. Not, not saying you can't make 400 plus on a blower setup. You absolutely can. We've had many people on our down to do that, make, you know, go into aftermarket blowers and things like that. But usually, in general, it's a, lot, it's a lot easier to go directly to a turbo setup and get a proper setup for that to make all the power you want to make. So I hope this kind of breaks it down just as far as kind of what you're kind of looking for for a supercharger or a turbo setup. If you guys have any questions, you can always contact customer service at ZZPerformance.com. And as usual, Ryan.D at ZZP. All right, guys. See you next time.